channel, okay? <laughs> okay, that's just way too excited. Hi everyone, how y'all doing? I'm Ala DJ and welcome to my channel. So today I decided to post on a Thursday because, well, it's my birthday. And I just have this thing that I pride my birthday. Like, I don't know, even now in the lockdown, I ain't feeling the lockdown. I'm just way too excited, guys. I'm straight up in D mode, okay? D mode has come out. She's got energy. She just wants to talk to everybody. She's just too much. I really wish I could go out, but I can't. But anyway, in this video, as y'all can see, I even glammed up for my birthday because it's my birthday. Who is this hater hooting out ya? I mean, oh, respect, nigga. A girl just turned 22. Okay, as y'all can see from the title of this video, I'm going to explain to you guys my last three birthday experiences. I was going to do top three, but I can't choose because there's just too many to choose from. So I decided I'll just pick up uh, my last three birthday experiences, which also is my years in varsity. Okay, let's get started. Wait, something's missing. Some... Okay. Yep. That makes more sense. Yep, this is so me. <laughs> Let's get started! <laughs> so in first year, I was in Val Triangle because I was doing my first year in Val University of Technology. So I stayed there and I wasn't used to the Val yet. I didn't like the Val. So I was like, I'm not going to celebrate my birthday in the Val. No, no, no. And that's when I decided, you know, I'm going to celebrate my birthday the way I've been in Joburg with all my friends, with some of my cousins, and we're just going to have a blast. And it started off really chill. It was very nice. I mean, I go ahead just turned 19. I was like, guys, you know, let's just go to dinner, you know. We'll think of something else to do the next day. But just for today, on my actual birthday, on Saturday, let's just go to dinner. And that's when we decided we're going to go to Melville, to my favorite place, Sixes. <laughs> to my favorite place, Six's Cocktail Bar, and my sister, at the time she was still staying with us, she wasn't yet married, so she decided, okay, I can drop you guys off, so I was like, yeah, I didn't have a car then, so, <laughs> and then she took us to Six's Cocktail Bar, she left us there, and we stood there for like a while, and we're like, yo, guys, this place is packed, minus finding a place to sit, like all the noise and stuff, we ain't even gonna hear each other, like nothing, and that's when... One friend decided, you know, let's just go to McDonald's. And we contemplated it for a bit. It was like, should we Uber? Should we walk? And it's like, nah, let's walk. <laughs> I don't know why we did that. It is not safe. I mean, it's nighttime. We just girls, we could get kidnapped. And there's some kidnapping stories that have happened in Malville. I mean, it wasn't a lot at that time, but still, it was a possibility, okay? But anyway, us girls, all happy and hype, were like, yeah, let's go. So, literally, it's, it was quite a distance of a walk. It was like two blocks at night. So, we decided to walk to McDonald's. We had McDonald's. We ate. And then we met up with these other guys who my best friend knew. And it was like, oh, hey, how are you? Are you good? Blah, blah, blah. You know, a little chit chat. And they're like, they're on their way to Stones, which is like, I don't know if it is a club, but like, it's kind of like a club. I'm going to just call it a club. <laughs> so we went to Stones and, I mean, those guys said they were going to Stones. So we were like, you know what? Why don't we go there too? I mean, I mean we're not going to ride with them because, I mean, girl, we don't know them like that. <laughs> we were ourselves there, you know? And from McDonald's, it wasn't too far, but we were like, guys, we already watch her. It's probably like 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. We are not going to walk <laughs> to Stones, okay? It's not safe. So then we decided, okay, let's Uber them. And we were there, it was still empty, funny enough. And it was one of those specials where ladies paid a cheaper price. So we're like, okay, we don't mind, we'll pay. And we went in, it was quite empty, probably like a, a few people, like a really few people. And then we were just like, you know what, let's invite other friends. Because my best friend was in UJ at the time, so she was like, I'm going to call my friends over. And I knew one of the guys there. And at that point, <laughs> he was cute, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so it was like yeah let him come through and also he kind of had a little crush on me so i was like yeah nigga come on bring your friends hey <laughs> 
So she called them. They were like, oh yeah, we had prayers. And I was like, yeah, guys, come through. And they came through. And we all just had some shots. We had drinks. We had fun. We were dancing. And then it started getting a bit full from like 10, 11 p.m. So it's like, okay, the students are done putting their makeups and stuff and colognes and whatever. They've arrived. It's time to party. And at this point, me and my friend Bongi were like, you know what? We've been chilling in our little corner. Let's go open that circle, okay? Let's go up in there and just boom. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I'm just so dramatic. Anyway, so yeah, and we opened the circle. Like nobody was on the dance floor, so we were dancing, we we're having fun, and then people were watching us and they were like, okay, we like these girls, and people started joining on the dance floor, they were dancing. Actually, the dance floor was full, and we we're like, okay, yeah, no, we're tired now. The famous girls are over it. We wanna go sit down. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys, we don't think like that. But at that point we were tired because we had been dancing. So we went to sit down. We kind of caught some people's attention. So one guy was just way into Wongi and he was like following her like a puppet. I don't know. I don't know. That guy was, was starting to annoy me, but she had fun. It's fine. <laughs> and then what happened after that? Well, so I met a birthday buddy. Somebody who also was sharing a birthday with me. And it's like, it's your birthday? Yeah, it's my birthday too. Oh, hey, you know that thing? I'll be like, oh, twins. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we decided to hang out all together. That guy came with his squad as well. And then they were telling us we got to take shots because it's our birthday. So they were giving us tequila and all of that. And it was like, it was insane. But I must say I had a blast because I was with my girls. We were just chilling. We had fun. Like, it was really nice. So obviously it's time to go home in the AMs. And my sister, <laughs> she man, it was like, okay, guys, so when are you guys going? It's like, oh, we're ready to go now. And it's like, okay. And it's like, oh, but yeah, we had stones. Because <laughs> now we had changed situations. So it was like, oh, we had stones now. So still in Marvel, but there's stones. And she's like, oh, okay, fine. I'll just send an Uber to you guys. And then all is well. So that was a really good year. It was a nice way to start my birthday journey for Varsity. Second year, okay, second year was a little bit different. So at the start of second year, <laughs> this is a sad story. No, I'm kidding. It wasn't really that sad. But what had happened is I got into an accident around April. Yeah, around April. And this is 2018, right? I got into an accident around April and... It was a car that was just parked in the yard, so they gave it to me. I had my license and all of that. And now it was like, okay, well, no car. Felt really bad for my parents. I mean, it wasn't a hectic accident. Like, I came out okay. The person that I hit was okay. The only problem is the front of the car was a bit damaged, so you can't drive a car like that. So we just parked it, and everything was fine. It's just now I don't have a car. I was a little bit traumatized because I don't want to drive for, like, a, a while because... I was still a bit shaky and panicky. And then my friend from Val, bless her soul, I met her in Val University and now we are best friends going forth. <laughs> Bongi, my baby girl, she decided to throw me a surprise birthday party in the Val. <laughs> For this one, I need to, you know, it's a, you know, birthday vibes, even coming out with the fancy glasses. <laughs> one night only. <laughs> So baby girls surprised me with a surprise party, but let me be honest with you guys, I picked up on the surprise party because she was asking me about my friends, she was asking me when I buy cake, what kind of cake flavor do I like, like you know all these little questions and I was like, are you planning a surprise party? And she's like, no, why? And I was just like, okay, okay, if you say so, <laughs> but it was fine anyway. So fast forward to the day, my birthday was during the week, so we just decided, they, they decided to do the party on the weekend, uh, the weekend before my birthday, because my birthday was a Monday. Imagine. <laughs> Still made the most out of it, okay? And what happened was, so she decided to do my surprise party on the top of me, she asked one of our close friends in the area that we were staying in to use their yard since um we both stayed at like 
resins that didn't really allow for parties and stuff like that so yeah like an off-campus friend like yo can we use your yard for the surprise party okay cool and then she invited my friends from Joburg she brought my squad you understand she brought the squad you know that group of guy friends that you have that they're always down to chill and everything they pull through thank you guys <laughs> and then she also asked my cousin to come that bitch did not come okay she was working that day and she could have came but she says they finished working late okay <laughs> it's going down my chest real nice hey Boogie spoke to my mom, they got me a nice real good birthday cake and then obviously my friends from around Val pulled through um, the house I was staying at it was an all girls house so everybody does, they just came through those that know me, like know me, know me, you understand? yeah so that was pretty cool they pretended that we are gonna go to Emerald and so forth but we didn't even go, we just popped up at the surprise party so we walk into this house and I'm like this house there's this blue and red lights flashing, I'm like this is a surprise party. That's when I knew my suspicions were right. They should have switched off the lights. <laughs> but anyway, I went in. They blindfolded me. I don't know. I, I don't like being blindfolded at night, guys. I feel like the monster will just eat everyone. And I'm just left face to face with the monster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't judge me. This is how I think, guys. <laughs> and so, yeah. So then we went in. I was blindfolded. They took off the blindfold. Everyone was there. And I was like, surprise. And I'm like, oh, you can really good time i was so happy seeing everybody i was just like guys y'all love me <laughs> but to be honest for those who could not make it i almost cut you off for good but you made it up to me in different ways so i forgave y'all in the end because here's the thing about me guys i'm a taurus if you forget my birthday you're out okay Actually, I'm going to insert a meme that explains what I'm saying. Because you're out. Forget it. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> but it was really nice. I had fun. They had bride. They had made punch. There was the cake. One of my friends from Joburg was the MC. I, I put him on the spot. I'm like, you got to be the MC now that you're here, you know? It was amazing, got little speeches, they sang happy birthday, and I just really had so much fun, and then a special somebody, <laughs> special somebody came to celebrate with me. <laughs> it was fun, it was fun, I mean, at the end of the night, we literally finished around 2am, because now neighbors were complaining, the residents will be staying in a hood full of students. But it was okay, we understood, we, we took what they said and we decided to all go part up. We all parted. Okay, English is running away. We all went our separate ways. <laughs> and after we went our separate ways, I went back to my room, it was fun, chilled with a couple people. On to year three! Ugh, I feel like this video is long, but anyway. And my third year now, which was last year for my birthday, I decided that I don't want to host, I don't want to make like a bride a party or anything or go to an event or stuff like that. I just wanted to chill with my friends, maybe go out for dinner and we just hang out. So I asked my mom for money for my birthday. Mama came through. <laughs> and she sent me money. This time I chose to have my birthday in Val. And... It was really, really, really fun. I enjoyed it to the fullest. And I enjoyed it to the fullest. It was really amazing. And I really, really, really did enjoy it. Like, that was amazing, guys. Because I spent my own money. I spoke myself. I got myself some really, really nice heels. I took myself to Emerald. I went to Emerald with my friend, though. We went to Emerald. We chilled. We hanged out. He was a vibe. And then my best friend again came to the Val. We hung out all afternoon. And by nighttime, we all got dressed up. And we decided we we're going to go to Rock and Mama's. And let me tell you, I almost went in a very fancy dress that I wore to my matric dance. Because it was a two-piece. It was a top part and the skirt. I wanted to wear the skirt. <laughs> I know that's a little dramatic. But I wanted everybody's attention, like... Hello. 
and yeah so i decided not to do it because my friends were like i mean we know you're dramatic but girl come on and i was like fine <laughs> and so i just dressed nice really cute winter outfit okay you know what i'm saying and we went to rock mama's and before we went to rock mama's a special somebody Before we went to Rocco Mama's, I met up with another friend. He got me a birthday cake and an empty card. Like, I asked him to write a little message, but he didn't want to. It's fine. Anyway, I got a really good birthday cake. That cake was really nice. I don't want to share it with anybody. I only gave, like, three friends and the rest was mine. I was, no. 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 That was a really good. Plus, this glass make it look classy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyway, after that we went to dinner at Rocco Mama's, we ate really good meals, they sang happy birthday, and of course people were staring and I was like, yes, keep it coming, honey. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, when it comes to my birthday, I don't know, I just, I lose it, I become somebody else, like, I don't know. <laughs> but it was really, really fun, and from there we went back to my place, again, student accommodation, and we just chilled. We were playing drinking games, people were getting lit. It was only like six of us, but we we're all getting lit. And it's like, who's gonna take who home? Because everybody's too late to drive, you know? And it's like, ah, okay, we're gonna squash in my mom's room. Others are gonna go to whoever's room. We'll just squash, guys. It's just one night, okay? <laughs> and it was really fun. We're singing throwback hits. And you know, when y'all have drank and you, you sing those throwback hits, it slaps. <laughs> So yeah, after that, we just went to bed and woke up to a whole new day. It was really fun. I have so many embarrassing videos from all these three different years because I talk too much when it's my birthday. As y'all can see, I just, I talk too much. I feel myself too much. D-mode is just in full effect. Like, it's crazy. But she's, she's fun. She's amazing. She's a vibe. Y'all will love her. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. Like, it has been a blast telling you guys about my birthday. I know it seems like I'm crazy for wearing a crown, talking so much, getting dressed up during lockdown. But guys, let me tell you, when it comes to my birthday, it's special. Like, you were gifted with this. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just, demode is activated. I'm just way too excited. And I, I wow. But seriously... Thank you guys so much for watching. It's nice to tell you guys about my experiences. Y'all can tell me about your experiences. And also, don't let lockdown hold you down from enjoying your birthday. Like, it's a celebration of your life, an added year, and too many more years to live. So, I hope you guys have a good day. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and just have a really, really good one, okay? Now, I'm about to go attempt to make chicken alfredo pasta, but... We'll see. Adios. Bye.